Three games into the Premier League season, one win against Chelsea, one draw against Wolves, and now one loss against Crystal Palace. Man United have had every sort of game so far in the Premier League, but that game there against Crystal Palace was a match I expected United to go into confident because if there was ever going to be a game so far this season that sort of marks how this Solskjaer team is improving, it had to be against relegation candidates at home. Instead, we can see the 92nd minute winner to a Patrick Van Anholt shot which snuck through David De Gea's hands and he should have saved it and we lose 2-1. Sorry about the backdrop, I've gone away for a couple of days but I'm still doing my match review and after that performance, there's a lot to review. We're talking about more penalty pain. Marcus Rashford hitting the post. I think that's the first professional penalty that he's missed. But that performance, it wouldn't have mattered to me if we had conceded, sorry, if we had scored that last minute winner instead of conceding one. Because overall, the performance there just lacked tempo, lacked control. At home against Palace, you need United to come out firing in the first 15, 20 minutes at home and to put them under pressure. Instead, they were happy sitting in their defensive shape and United didn't have enough creativity and enough guile to split their defence up because Pogba was playing deep because Pogba has to play deep. That's going to be his role this season, but it almost felt like we set up with a counter-attacking team like we did against Chelsea. But unlike Chelsea, Crystal Palace were happy to sit deep and those spaces were never going to be there. And ultimately, it was a penalty against Chelsea which opened them up and led to that 4-0 win. But to go from against Wolves, that first 45 minutes was so controlled, so calm. Comfortably 1-0 at half time, and obviously we ruined it in the second half. But to go from that to what we saw against Crystal Palace there, that's worrying. It has to be worrying. Three wins in Solskjaer's last 15 games from March. And nobody was overexcited by that Chelsea win. Obviously, beating Chelsea 4-0 in the start of the season is fantastic. But... Chelsea could have and probably should have had a couple of goals in that game. Wolves, a great first 45, but a terrible second 45. And for me, that full 90 against Crystal Palace was just bad. Absolutely bad. And it's such a shame because he took that goal away from Dan James, an absolute perler right into the top corner. That ultimately meant nothing. But that performance just... It stunk of complacency, which I didn't want to see creeping into this United team this year. It was one of those just hallmarks of last few years I've seen under different managers in games where United should be winning and the players go into the game sort of expecting to win and that performance looked like one of those from me for me today sorry let me know what you think about that in the comments below but that first goal Lindelof going up for the header first of all it should be Lindelof sitting deepest with Maguire going up for those aerial duels but he lost it to Schlupp Ayu straight through calm into the corner against the run of play but not against what you might expect of United this season it I knew that going forward United would still struggle this year because we didn't sign Bruno Fernandes or a player of that ilk who can sit in front of the midfield and bridge that gap between the midfield and the attack and link the two so we're always going to struggle in that position this year I didn't expect us to struggle defensively like we did today the sort of sloppy mistakes that I expected to be cut out this year because Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw, Wan-Bissaka and De Gea is the strongest back five we've had in some time. Instead, that goal we conceded there was just poor all round. And then you go to the second half and United, sure, we play with a bit more tempo, but not that much more. I still think we were very, very poor. But McTominay's run into the box gave us the opportunity to change the game, to switch it up. And after what happened last week at Wolves with the penalty situation, there was more pressure on this penalty for Rashford. And he hit the post. The pressure got to him. It's the only way you can explain it. And that goal penalty might have changed the whole scope of the last 25, 30 minutes. You know, it might have come out of that with a 3-1 win. Instead, we hit the post with still 1-0 down. And it took until, what, the 88th minute for Dan James to curl a beautiful goal into the top corner. But just over that full 90... We saw what's going to be United's biggest weakness this season against teams that are happy to sit in a nice, disciplined, defensive shape. We struggle to break down two banks, the banks of defenders and the banks of midfield. There's no space for United to do it. And there's nobody who's really got the confidence and the quality 
to break it down. Pogba can't do it. He's playing deep because we need someone there to link the defence to the midfield. But we also needed someone there to link the midfield to the attack. And that's where United failed in the summer transfer window. And for me, that is where United lost the game today. If we had some... Um, bring him Matter on for the last five minutes, you may as well bring him on, on earlier, sorry. Because he's the sort of player who can do that sort of role. But instead, United lose. Two ones against Crystal Palace. A win against Chelsea. Brilliant way to start the season. A one-all draw against Wolves. Sure, it was frustrating, but that first 45 minutes was fantastic against Wolves. Second 45, not so much. And missing the penalty... A real sucker blow. But that game today there against Crystal Palace is, apart from some individual positives, there's a sweeping negative across the attitude that we saw from the players, the types of performances we saw from the players, and the overall performance from United as a team. Just stunk. 2-1, Palace deserved winners on the day, but United have to take a long, hard look at themselves if they don't want this to be a long, dreary season. Because if that game is anything to go by, we really are going to struggle for top four again. And maybe the Europa League is going to be where our focus goes. But I expected those characteristics to be cut out of our team that I saw today against Palace. And Solskjaer, as a manager, has to make sure that they do not exist. And it's up to him to get rid of them. And it's up to the players as well to up their game. Because there was such little tempo there against Crystal Palace. It was played at a pace that was confident for them. And they took three points. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments below. If there was a man of the match, who was yours? And what does Solskjaer have to change? Is it him or is it the players? Let me know what you think about that. But United, 2-1 loss against Palace. Three games, one win, one draw, one loss. What's next? I don't know.